What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another series on my channel. As you guys know, I am Canadian. My best friend lives in the United States. He lives down in Alabama. So, he actually came up with this video idea, and I decided I'm going to turn it into a video series on my channel. It's going to be a four-part series for now, and then I'll see how it is, and I might expand it in the future. This video series is basically going to see if a Canadian and an American can pass the Canadian citizenship tests, and the American citizenship tests. The tests that we are going to be taking for this series are the official practice tests, and they're going to consist of 20 multiple choice questions. So I'm going to be doing the first part of the series today, and it is going to see if a Canadian can pass the Canadian citizenship test. Let's get right into this. Okay, so I have the first question here. It's actually timed. I got 30 minutes to do it, but I'm assuming it will not take me 30 minutes to do this. So question one, what are three main groups of Aboriginal peoples? So a little backstory. I am actually fifth generation Metai. So let's look at the multiple choice questions. First Nations, which I know is one. Metai, which I just said that I am fifth generation. And Inuit, which is a huge part of the northern Canada. So without even having to look at all of the other ones here, I'm going to say it is the first option. First Nations, Metai, and Inuit. Next question. Who was John Bouchain? Uh, a popular governor general of Canada. Possibly might be that one. A famous Canadian general, I'm gonna say no. Canadian army general, I'm gonna say no. First Fathers of Confederation, his name doesn't ring a bell, so I'm gonna use uh, the first one, which is a popular Governor General of Canada. That sounds right to me, at least. When did the House of Commons recognize that the Quebecois form a nation within United Canada? So the Quebecois is a political group, and I think they are the last one that formed. Um, so I'm going to say 1972 is out, 1986 is out, 2001 or 2006. I'm going to just... 50-50 chance. I'm going to say 2006 because they are the least popular group whenever it comes to the elections and I'm just going to say it's mostly Quebec and French Canadians that vote for them in my opinion. So I'm going to say 2006. Just a gut feeling there. Who is Marjois Turner Bailey? I might have mispronounced her first name. Uh, the options are an Olympian and descendant of black loyalists. A famous Canadian settler, I'm going to say no. The first woman to become Prime Minister, no. And the first Canadian female athlete, I'm going to say no for the last three. It is, I think it is an Olympian. Um, next question, when did English settlement begin in Canada? 1510, 19, sorry, 1497, 1610, or 1720? Um... Canada formed in 1867. I'm going to say 1720 is out. 10 rings a bell, so it's either 1510 or 1610. I'm just going to guess 1610 because that sounds about right, but it's likely 1510. You watch me be wrong. We'll find out at the end. Who established the first European settlements? The British are who I believe came first. They spoke English, and that's why Canada is an English-speaking nation. Irish and Spanish are out. French or English? Given the reason I just said, I'm going to say first European settlements. I'm going to say English. I might be wrong on that. Who passed the Quebec Act in 17... 74. Like I said, 1867 is when Canada became an official country, I believe. The Canadian Parliament is out. The Quebec Parliament is out. French majority, I'm going to say, is out. Because the British are who came over first, I believe, I'm going to say the British Parliament. Which act granted to the... I'm going to say that's supposed to be Canadians. For the first time, legislated, less leg, legislative... Assemblies elected by the people, the Freedom Acts, Constitution Acts, Legislative Acts, Confederation. I'm just going to guess Confederation because I just don't know the answer. 
who was Lieutenant Colonel John Graves Simcoe, Upper Canada's first Lieutenant Governor and founder of the City of Toronto. Lower Canada is not Toronto. Lower Canada is not Ottawa. Leader of the Loyalists. I'm going to say the first one, Upper Canada, first Lieutenant. When did the British Parliament Abolish slavery throughout the empire. Um, I'm going to say 1793 is out, 1807 is out, and I'm going to say it's down to 1833 and 1853 because I believe it happened right before Canada became officially a country, which was 1867. So I'm just going to guess 1853. Name three fathers of confederation. I sadly only know one which is the first Prime Minister, which is John A. Macdonald. And since he is one, I'm going to say the first one, even though I don't know the other two and I don't know any of the other ones. I know Sir John A. Macdonald was a father of Confederation, so I'm assuming that's right. Which phrase embodied the vision of the Dominion of Canada? I'm going to say, oh, Canada, my home and native land, because I'm not sure exactly. Whose portrait is on the Canadian $10 bill? Um, this is a Canadian $10 bill, and that is Sir John A. Macdonald. I knew that one. That one is easy. Uh, what made it possible for immigrants to settle in Western Canada? The completion of Port of Vancouver? No. The completion of the Canadian National Railway? I don't think that's what it's called. The given, giving free land to settlers, no. The Canadian Pacific Railway, that's what it's called. When were the Canadian and Quebec pension plans devised? I want to say it was after World War II. So 1927 is out, 1940 is out. 1967 or 1970, that's two years difference. Uh, sorry, five years difference. I'm trying to think of what jobs would be pensions back then. Government jobs, military jobs. I'm just going to say 1967. Watch it be 1970, but I'm going to say 1967 because that sounds right to me. What is La France phone? I don't speak French, sorry. Uh, a region Quebec, no. A French music instrument, no. A French music festival, no. An international association of French-speaking countries because that is more descriptive. I'm going to say it's that one. Why is Terry Fox a Canadian hero? This one is easy for me. He inspired people to contribute money for Canadian research? Possibly, but I, believe, I feel that he did more than just that. Uh, he became the first elected president of Canada? No. He was a great hockey player? No. He uh, united Canada in the 19th century. I'm going to say it is the first one, even though I feel that he did more than just that. That is the most correct one, in my opinion. What are the responsibilities of the federal government? So in Canada, federal government, federal government looks over all of Canada. Provincial is individual provinces and municipality is individual townships and cities. So federal would be all of Canada. What are their responsibilities? National and international concern, national concern, international concern, or provincial concern it has to be the first one in my opinion. Uh, that makes the most logic sense. Who has the right to vote in the federal election? A Canadian citizen at least 18 years old on voting day and on the voters list. I think it's that one there. A Canadian citizen that is there. A Canadian citizen on the voters list that is included in the first one. And an adult primary resident though. I think you have to be primary resident, but I think that just changed. I'm going to say the first one. Where do the majority of people live in Canada? Rural areas, in small towns, in cities, or along the East Coast? East Coast is, East Coast is out, small towns, there's a lot in Canada, but I'm going to say that's out. Rural areas is out. I'm going to say cities because our cities are, like everywhere, highly populated. So this is the test. This is all 20 questions. Let's find out the results here and see what I got. I actually passed. I got 80%. I got 16 out of the 20 correct. Which ones did I get wrong here? Uh, who? Uh, question number six. Who established the first European settlements? It was, in fact, the French. I chose the English. That was incorrect. Um, 
Question number eight, which act granted Canada's for the first time? Uh, I chose the Confederation. It was the Constitutional Act. So I was incorrect. When did British Parliament abolish slavery throughout the empire? That was the 10th question. It was... Nine, or sorry, it was 1833. I chose 1853. So I was close. It was I narrowed it down to the two, but I was incorrect on that one. Which phrase embodied the vision of the Dominion in Canada? That was question number 12. I chose O Canada, my home and native land. It was Dominion from the sea to sea and from river to the ends of the earth, which I would never have even guess that one. Okay, so there we go. A Canadian can pass the Canadian citizenship test. I passed with an 80%, but you just need to get 75% or more to pass this test. I passed with 16 out of 20 of the questions correct. I did better than I thought I didn't expect to do that good, but I am extremely happy that I was able to pass the Canadian citizenship test. But we will find out if an American can pass the Canadian citizenship test in the future because my friend Jack is going to be taking this test. So in the next episode of this series, we are going to see if an American can pass the American citizenship test because my friend Jack is going to be taking that test in that episode. So hope you guys are excited for that. That episode will be out next month. I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Please take care. Peace.